All right, this is tree identification for ginkgo. Uh, ginkgo is actually one of the oldest uh, species of tree we have still living around. And that's kind of why it has like this, you know, prehistoric looking shape. Um, these leaves are very characteristic. Um, it's a fan shape there. Um, you can see all the veins are just nice uh, straight lines fanning out as it goes down into this triangle shape here. Bark is usually uh, pretty similar to this. Um, very small fissures, light gray bark, you know, and then as it gets older, it gets a little rougher and you can kind of see some of that stuff at the bottom there. So the older bark looks like that, um, but the color of the bark stays pretty consistent throughout. Um, this tree is usually straight up and down, um, kind of like a, a conifer tree would be with the branches coming out. Um, so it has that similar type of straight up and down shape normally. Um, so that's pretty characteristic of these trees. The, uh, it's best to plant the males because they do not have the fruit. Um, the females produce this fruit and the, it's very putrid smelling and they're not nice to be around uh, urban areas, especially where they're gonna stay in the sidewalk or stay in people's cars. Um, so if, they, if the city did it right, they're planting males. And that's ginkgo.